Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1969 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup features the Seattle Pilots versus the Oakland Athletics at the Oakland Coliseum. On the mound for the Pilots today is Jerry Stevenson, whose record is 4-3 with a 3 ERA. And pitching for the A's today is Catfish Hunter, whose record is 10-6 with a 2.77 ERA. And so yesterday's game, <laughs> I mean, what a frustrating game. We hit three home runs. Freddie Patek hit his first home run of the year. McNerty hit his fifth home run. And Lou Pinella uh, continues on a torrid streak since he was traded over here. So we had three home runs, and that wasn't even enough uh, to win the ball game. And then a swift kick in the nuts after the game was over as uh, Rich Rollins is injured for 35 days. So we lose our starting third baseman as well. And we don't have very many options uh, in the minors to fill that spot. So we're going to move Van Kelly, who has been up and down uh, this year uh, to AAA and back. Uh, we've been having him play second base most of the year. Uh, we're going to move him to third base, which is his natural position. Um, he's played eight games there this year. Has not committed an error. I don't really care about the bats. I mean, we do not have enough hitters as it is. I just want players who are going to play good defense. And I'm hoping he's good enough to um, get us through the next 35 days. Yes, we could make a trade. Um, we still have it, you know, 10 days, 11 days to go here. Um, but I think unless somebody offers us something, I'm not really willing to trade uh, and create any more payroll. Uh, when we only are averaging 5,000 people in the stands every ball game, um, we really can't afford to spend our money frivolously. So uh, we are going to just move on with our lives, uh, minus the great Rich Rawl, and uh, play game number two of the three-game series. Let's, let's get the game started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along. Like and or subscribe to the channel. I did a new quick hits earlier today. Uh, it is a, a 2021 uh, Panini Playoff Football value pack. We're trying to find all the good rookie quarterbacks. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, uh, Justin Fields, um, Zach Wilson, if you want to still consider him a good player. Uh, and uh, so that's that's uh, what we opened earlier today. It was kind of fun to... Uh, Dig, dig through, try to find ourselves some of those good rookies. Uh, we do have Jerry Stevenson on the mound, I believe, in the opener. I um, In the uh, pregame, I announced that his ERA was a 3. It's actually a 4. That's my bad. And Ron Locke, who got beat around pretty badly yesterday, uh, is not available today. Um, so we only, we only have one lefty in the bullpen. Okay, uh, here is our wacky lineup for today's game. We're going up against the A's ace, Catfish Hunter. And um, we've mixed it up a little bit. Try to get some left-handed bats in there. Uh, I moved Gary Sutherland down in the lineup because he does struggle versus righties. But we have to have him in there. And uh, you know the rest. It's all kind of sad at this point with, um, you know, 60 games to go, 60 plus. Uh, let's go ahead and do the lineup rundown then for the Seattle Pilots. Take a look at these schlubs. You know who's not a schlub? Your leadoff hitter, Lou Pinella, in left field, batting second. At first base is Mike Hegan, batting third. In right field is Joe Pepitone. Batting cleanup, playing center field is Tommy Ag. Batting fifth and catching is Merritt Renew. <laughs> Batting sixth at third base is Van Kelly. Batting seventh at second base is Gary Sutherland. Batting eighth at shortstop is Freddie Patek. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Jerry Stevenson. That is a bunch of sad sacks, if I've ever seen one before. Let's take a look at uh, Catfish Hunter. Ten and six, was he an all-star? I can't remember. Yes, he was an all-star. Did I play him? I did. He went one inning, gave up two runs on three hits. And uh, let's see, how's he done against us? Well, 
He pitched a couple league game on July 7th, but he took the loss, giving up five runs on six hits and three walks. Previously, he's pitched against us twice, so three times total. Uh, May 4th, he took a no decision. Six innings, only given up one run. April 19th, seven innings, giving up three runs on eight hits, and that was also a no decision. Overall, 10-6, a 277 ERA, 113 innings pitched. I'm sorry, 113 strikeouts and 162 and two-thirds innings pitched. Opponents are batting 212. Uh, nine complete games. Give me a break. This uh, A's uh, pitching um, coach just keeps them out there. Uh, 89 mile an hour fastball. That's inaccurate. Uh, he is a ground ball pitcher. Fastball is rated in 98, though. Changeup is an 81. Overall in 93. The 23-year-old righty goes to arbitration at the end of the year. He may go to free agency if they can't afford him. There's the defense. Pretty solid all the way around with the exception of tennis behind the plate. And Sweet Lou leading off against the Oakland A's. Here we go. Pinella 2 for 7 against Hunter this year. And he wraps it into center field. Get down. Nope, it's going to carry deep enough for Monday to make the catch. One out. Here is Mike Hegan. Hegan has a 2-2 count. And that pitch almost hit him in the head. And yet he still swung. Look at that. He almost got ear hold. And he strikes out swinging. Two down. Here is Joe Pepitone. And Pepitone strikes out. Wow. Those are our three best hitters. Three of four, our four best hitters. And two of them struck out. We go to the bottom of the first inning. Let's take a look at our lineup rundown. I'm sorry for the Oakland A's. Batting leadoff in center field is Rick Monday. Batting second and catching is Gene Tennis. Batting third in left field is Tommy Reynolds. Batting cleanup, playing first base is Ernie Banks. Batting fifth in right field is Red J. Jackson. Batting sixth at third base is Sal Bando. Batting 7th at shortstop is Bert Campanaris. Batting 8th at 2nd base is John Donaldson. And batting ninth is the pitcher Catfish Hunter. Let's take a look at Jerry Stevenson. Making his 10th start of the year. 4-3 and three with a 4 ERA, not a 3 ERA. 81 strikeouts in 87 and 2 thirds innings pitched. I like that. I don't like the walks so much. 42 walks. Uh, against the 81 strikeouts, no complete games. Fastball tops out at 93 miles an hour. But his screwball is his best pitch. It's rated in 84. The fastball just below league average at 79. Overall at 82, the 25-year-old lefty goes to arbitration at the end of the year. We'll probably sign We'll sign him to a long-term deal. He's only 25, and he's got that blazing fastball. So we like him very much. Here is the def defense for our team. Not great. Um, really, though, the only uh, liability is our second baseman, Sutherland. Uh, with Merritt Renew behind the plate, that does give us a little bit of a boost. And we have Mike Keegan playing first. So that's a big boost to the infield. And as you can see, Van Kelly at third is an 85, which is, I believe, just two ticks above what Rollins is at third base. So we really haven't lost anything there, in theory. We'll see. Here we go, Rick Monday leading off against Jerry Stevenson. And a base hit right past the shortstop. Patek into left field. And the leadoff man is on. And I do have a glass of wine here that I'm, nice little cab that I'm drinking. I should have brought the whole bottle in. I have a bad feeling. We're not fancy here at uh, Brainiac Baseball. I mean, I'll drink it from a box. But this is a nice little line I picked up earlier today. Tennis hits it in front of home plate, and there's an error by Renu. So this game is over, folks. First and second, nobody out. There's nothing we're going to be able to do today. As he walks, the base is loaded. We're just pushing buttons. 
I mean, Oakland is the best team uh, in the American League. Let's turn two here and maybe give up that run. Wait, what happens? Oh, they go home to get the lead run. That's so stupid. I can't even comprehend how dumb that is. I didn't even play the infield in. There's no reason for him to go home. The only play should have been for a double play. Um, so there you go. I, I need I need a drink here. Mm -hmm. Here's Reggie. Reggie only has eight home runs. This could be a big one here, though. Fly ball to center field. They're going to get that run anyway. I think Tennis will tag. He's only got a 69 rating. Oh, for a minute there. I thought he wasn't going to. So Reggie drives in a run on a sack fly. Reynolds will move up to third. And Sal Bando at the plate, batting 248, nine home runs. Stevenson has a chance to get to limit the damage here. Line drive to left. Come on. Yes. So only one run scores. A hit, an error, a walk, and a sack fly. We go to the top of the second. That might be all Catfish Hunter needs today. Tommy Agee leading off. Fly ball into left center field. Play made by Reynolds. Here is Merritt Renu. Now, he made the error. I, is he bad? He's made two errors in eight starts. So, yeah, he's not good. And he's got a negative defensive range and a negative war. Throwing out 25% of the batters. We do have a good catcher in... Uh, we have a couple catchers coming up. Um, but we do have a veteran catcher in AAA. Jerry May. I was thinking about bringing him up and sending Merritt Renew down. And then, of course, we have uh, Jim Sundberg. We just drafted him this year. So he's going to be a couple years away from being productive. Uh, but he's he should be very good defensively. Renew taps it back to the pitcher. Van Kelly gets the... Wait. Oh, he flies up the center field. I thought he was going to get the first hit for the Pilots. We might not even get one today with this uh, tepid lineup. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Here is Bert Campanaris leading off. Campy's been tough against us. Two for six against Stevenson, though, as he dumps it into right center field for a base hit. Maybe two. Is he going to hustle? Nope. He's going to hold. At first, he may be going here. Uh, he's got great speed. I believe he is among the league leaders. How many stolen bases does he have? 36 stolen bases. 36 out of 44 on the year. All right, here we go. JD up. John Donaldson striking out. Only the first K. Well, we're in the second inning here. He's only had four outs, so he struck out 25% of the of the outs. All right, Catfish Hunter up. Not a bad hitter. We're going to bring the corners in. He's probably going to lay down a bunt. Batting 143 this year. He was swinging. AG making the catch. That is crazy. Why wouldn't you have Campy steal second and then bunt him over? Again, these are non-baseball things that are happening in this game. And then Monday hits it right back to Stevenson. And there's out number three. We'll take what we can get. We go to the top of the third. one nothing Oakland. Seattle looking for its first hit. Here's Gary Sutherland. We dropped him down. Because he is struggling. And a base hit to right. Do we want to go for two? We're going to say no. Good job by Sutherland. I say he's struggling, but he's batting 314. Um, let's look at his log. I'm curious. Batting 267 in his last 20 games. But you can see he topped out at 358. And he's dropped down to 314. So, yeah, he was on a bad stretch there for a while. Okay, runner on first. Here is Freddie Potek. He's five foot four. He went deep yesterday. And here he walks. So we've got runners on first and second. Nobody out. And Jerry Stevenson. They're pulling in 
the corners as they should. And we will oblige them by bunting here. Oh, two count to Stevenson. Oh, he gets the ball down to third. How? How? How can he be out of third? He picked up the ball on the infield. You tell me he's going to beat Gary Sutherland back to the bag? This game is so horrible. I can't even... I, I mean, it would probably be damn near impossible as he grounds into a double play. Oh, no. Penilla beats it out. I mean, it's it's got to be impossible to program every single baseball scenario that could ever happen. But when you have these type of graphics and this is the only thing you can rely on is what you see the game provide you um it's hard to fathom it like i i can't suspend disbelief uh just because the game uh decides to run like basic baseball maneuvers Higgin says shut the hell up play some ball as he knocks in two runs with a double that is Higgins, ninth double on the year. And we are up two to one, just like that. So good job by Mike Higgins. He's gotta pick up the <coughs> he's gotta pick up the slack for uh, Rollins. Here's Joe Pepitone. He's been a good pickup for us. As he grounds out to short. Average now dipping below three hundred. So we take the lead on the 2-RBI double by Mike Hegan. We go to the bottom of the third inning. Gene Tennis leading off. Tennis batting 280. 19 home runs. He has not hit a home run since he went on that crazy streak. Popping it up here into foul ground on the first base side. There's one out as Pepitone. No, I'm sorry. Hegan makes the catch. One out for Tommy Reynolds. Grounds it to Hegan. You don't expect Hegan to make any errors in the field. I think he's got one or two at first base this year. All three go right to Hegan. And he knows what to do with it. Go to the top of the fourth inning. Tommy Agee leading off against Catfish. Three for seven. A couple of walks in his career. Sharply hit ball to second base. Play made by Donaldson. One out. Here is Merritt Renu. First time he hit a grounder right back to the pitcher. Yeah, can he get out of the infield? Is not something Renu does often as he pops it up at the foul ground. Of course, the Coliseum has the biggest foul ground in all of baseball. And uh, obviously, if you understand statistics, you know that um, the weighted on base percentage of the Coliseum is so low. Batting averages drop like 20%. Kelly lines it in the center, and it will be caught by Monday. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning with Reggie leading off. Stevenson had 47 pitches. He hasn't looked too bad yet today. He had that one rough first inning, and Reggie leads off with a base hit. He should be striking out a hell of a lot more than he has so far, but I guess the A's are a good contact team. Reggie on first and a walk. God. This is so frustrating. This it shouldn't be this way. We're going to pull third base in in case Burt tries to drop down a bunt. 0-2 count to Campanaris. And a base hit. Come on, man. Reggie scores from second. There's nobody out. This is exactly what happened yesterday. We put up a four spot in the four in fourth inning yesterday, took the lead, and I brought Patton back out for the fifth inning, and he gave up. I mean, like it was instantaneous. There was literally nothing we could do to get an out other than take him out of the ball game, and we got uh, gave up the four runs back. Yeah, I mean, this is the bottom third of the lineup, and we get a double play as Bando gets doubled off second. Great job by Kelly at second base. Heads up play. Catfish Hunter's up. We might get out of this just by uh, let him tie it up. And a strikeout by Stevenson. You can only strike out the pitcher. We go to the top of the fifth inning. Game is tied now. 
with Gary Sutherland leading off. He has a hit today. Two for five in his career versus Catfish. Ground ball to Donaldson. One out. Here is Freddie Botek. A base hit in the center. We're getting some action from the bottom half of the lineup. Now, do we want to go for two here? A 60% chance. Um, 90 speed for Potek. Only a 67 arm. He's got to throw it 171 feet. And the pitcher's up next, right? So I think we've got to take a chance. Um, at the very least, Stevenson can move him to third. Um, I think we got to do it. We're going to try. Here we go. Out. Top, uh, bottom of the fifth inning. Here we go. Stevenson at 70 pitches. We have <laughs> only four. We have four of our five men in a rotation that can only go five innings. Like, none of them can go any further unless it's the exact correct scenario, you know? We do have, like, three or four complete games this year. Um, wow. Stevenson throwing strikes here in the fifth. That's exactly what we need. He's walked. Uh, he struck out four, uh, including back-to-back Ks. He's got to walk somebody now, right? No, can he strike out the inning? Oh, ground ball to third. Kelly making the play. That was a good inning. That's exactly what we needed. I'll drink to that. Oh. Grapey. Top of the sixth inning. Sweet lose up. Lou. Batting 282. Six home runs on the year. And he's safe on an error. By the shortstop Campanaris. This is where we would have... Well, no, I guess uh, Hegan and then Rollins. Rollins would be the hit-and-run guy. Now, Pepitone can hit and run if we get to him. We're going to let Hegan take a cut. He's already got a double, a couple RBIs. Oh, did he get all of it? Apo Taco! A two-run dong for Hegan. He's driven in all four runs with a double and a home run. Hegan is stepping up in place of Rollins. Great job by him. Here's Joe Pepitone. Popping it up on the infield. Okay, I'm liking the results here. I feel like at least we're making it a ball game. Uh, one out as uh, Pepitone pops out to Donaldson. Tommy A.G. popping it up to Donaldson as well. This will carry to the outfield grass. For out number two. And Merritt, Ranu, 0 for 5 against Catfish. He's like, why do you always put me against their ace? And he pops it up to the second baseman. There's no variation in the outs in this. Uh, you know, I'm, that is something that we really don't ever talk about. But even the outs are predictable. Like, pop, like how many times, like, there were the three that went to Hegan. There were the three that just went to uh, Donaldson. Um... I mean, I can remember Lou Whitaker multiple times having uh, all the ground balls hit to him. We're going to go to the sixth inning. We do have a two-run lead. Stevenson's going to come back out there and um, start the inning. We're going to keep him on a very short leash here. 0-1 count to Ernie. Ernie popping it up to second. That's four in a row to second. Pop-ups to second base. One out. Reggie Jackson, where do you where do you think he's going to hit it? Second base or the bleachers? It's the bleachers. Four to three as Reggie hits his ninth home run of the year. Nobody on. Here's Salbando. Ground ball to first. Two down. Bert Campanaris up. He's got a couple home runs this year. His power is only 72. His power is really the single. 
as he hits a ground ball to third, and Van Kelly throws him out. So we're going to the seventh inning. That's going to do it for Stevenson. A pretty good all-around appearance by him. Let's take a look at the in-game stats. Take a look here. Uh, Mike Keegan having a hell of a game. He's player of the game. Pretty much got it sewed up right now. Here's Van Kelly. He's 0 for 2 today. Playing good third base, though. That's really all I ask. Just give me some solid defense. Catfish over the century mark in pitches now. He's set 103. Here's Gary Sutherland. 1 for 2 on the day. Off the end of the bat into center field. Deep enough that the center fielder Monday doesn't even have to move. Out number two, and Freddie Patek, one for one, with a walk today. Hard hit, ground ball to third. Play is made by the third baseman, Bando. We are going to the seventh inning. Now, Stevenson is up first next inning, but I think we still got to take him out. Um, we got two lefties coming up. They could even pinch hit for Catfish. So I guess we got to bring in Riddleberger right now. Uh, the Riddleberger. He is making his 11th appearance. 0-1, 203 ERA, 11 strikeouts in 13 and a third innings. Opponents are batting 196. Let's see him do the splits. His left-hander is batting 138 against him. Nine strikeouts. Of 33 batters face. That's that's a good ratio for this era. Okay, here we go. Riddleberger. <coughs> Excuse me. Into the game. John Donaldson. Donaldson betting 400 versus lefties. What? One, two count. Ground ball to Potek. It's short. There we go. One down. They're going to let Catfish Hunter bat here in the seventh. Down a run. A comebacker to Riddleberger. Two quick outs and Rick Monday up. He's having a case of the Mondays. He's one for three to strike out. And he ties the ball game. Going oppo taco, lefty on lefty. A guy that was well, the opponents were batting 138 against him. He gives up the tying home run. Well, sh I was going to take him out, but we got to let him pitch because the pitcher spot is up first. Is he going to walk tennis? Yeah, I would walk him too. Is that going to fall in? Jesus Christ. My God, this game is ridiculous. Um... So he gives up a home run, a walk, a single after getting the first two batters out with no problem at all. So this is all with two outs. And a three-run home run by Ernie Banks. That's the ball game. Well, yeah, then he strikes out Reggie when it doesn't matter. Exactly what happened yesterday, a four spot that doomed us. We'll bring in Don Bosch to pinch it here. I mean, Oakland's a better team. I mean, there's not much uh, to, to debate um, with that, I guess. We're down three here in the eighth. And then Do uh, Lou Pinella goes up Otako for a two-run home run. Lou Pinella is the best player we have got. Look at this. He's batting 371 with four home runs in eight games. That's including today. 13 RBI. Um, this game's not over. I just said it was over. But I'm very inconsistent. You know that. Raleigh Fingers into the game. As Higa dumps it down the right field line. We're going to send him. No! Come on! There's no way Reggie Jackson's going to make that play. He has a, such a weak arm. 
I mean, there's no way we're going to win. That's twice this ball game we've been thrown out trying to stretch it. And then, yeah. This game, man, <laughs> it's, it's really, really shitty. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Good job by uh, Bosch, though, taking that walk. Um, all right. Here's uh, Diego coming into the game. We've used him quite a bit this year. And he walks the first batter. All right, let's just get it over with. Yep. I'm um, just pushing buttons. Let's go. Rally fingers. Nope. It's going to be Jose Morales. Base is loaded. Rick Monday flying to center. And he's tagged up. He was thrown out. So AG just threw out somebody at home. It didn't even show it. Uh, it just happened, but whatever. Um, there's a lefty coming into the ball game. So, um, a little pinch hit. Base hit up the middle by Darren Johnson. Nicely done. All right, Van Kelly. Coming out of the game here for Jose Vidal, his first at bat as a pilot. We brought him up. Uh, he was batting uh, 229 in AAA, but he had those 14 home runs. That, that was uh, tasty. So we brought up Jose Vidal. As you can see, he had a 1969 uh, Pilots card. So he was a legit player for the Pilots that year. Let's see if he can hit a home run in his first at bat. One, two count. Nope, he does the opposite. He absolutely sucks the pipe. Here's Gary Sutherland, a 360 hitter versus lefties. A comebacker, and that's the ball game. Nope, nope. It's down to Freddie Potek. Do we have anybody else on the bench? I mean, we can't. Um, we can't bring in Johnny Jeter. Uh, he's already proven he's terrible. Um, I guess we could pinch hit uh, Freddie Potek for McNurt. He had a home run in yesterday's game. Uh, we need a home run. That's what we need here. Yeah. Why not? Who cares? We were never going to win this ball game anyway. And another comeback into the pitcher. That'll do it. We lose 7-6. to six. A real bag of flaming shit. And Ron Locke is going to be... Oh, so we hit that point in the season where everyone's going to get injured now. So we, now we're losing Ron Locke to a mild shoulder separation. He's divorcing his shoulder from the rest of his torso. Uh, the Red Sox are making us a trade offer. Dalton Jones, we would take on the rest of his year's salary for a couple of guys that I don't care about. Well, let's see, what, what is um, Dalton Jones all about here? He is a second baseman. Um, batting 250. Uh, in 68, he was pretty horrible. 271 on base percentage. A 310 this year. There's nothing about that that is attractive to me. He has, it shows he has 83 power, but he's never had 10 home runs in a season. Um, he doesn't have speed. He doesn't hit and run. He's got nothing. That would just be giving up two young pitchers for a guy that we wouldn't even really use. So, no thank you. Let's take a look at the standings. And we lost two in a row now. We're five and a half back. Oakland's won four in a row. Let's take a look at the National League. <laughs> San Diego's now lost double digits. 
Let's take a look at headline news. Brainiac, baseball, daily beat. Yankees win 5-2, to two, move within 2.5 of the Orioles. Fritz Peterson, when he's not swapping wives, he's striking out seven Baltimore batters. Scattering five hits, scattering four children. <laughs> uh, Thurman Munson uh, had a stolen base. Okay, next up. Higgins, four RBIs aren't enough. He's the player of the game. Uh, he did everything he could. Um, unfortunately, we were never going to win that ball game as, as well as we uh, you know, played. Got off to a good, good start. I felt like we, we had a shot. But uh, Transactions, who's injured, who's dead? Um, oh, there's another trade. Okay, uh, wow. So Baltimore is finally trying to get rid of some of their payroll. They're trading Boog Powell to Montreal for John Strohmeyer. This is definitely a salary dump. 450000 He's a free agent at the end of the year. Uh, playing pretty good baseball. But, I mean, they've traded for so many elite-level players that they had to get rid of Boog. I would not be surprised to see Montreal turn around and trade him as well and maybe get some uh, some decent players in return. John Strohmeyer goes to Baltimore's double it. Yeah, that was all about... Oh, wait. Oh, $890. I thought it was $890,000. Yeah, that's a payroll dump. Okay. Um, interesting. I like the, I'd, I'd like that the game does that. Um, Gary Nolan of the Reds is going to miss... Uh, a month, that's tough. 21-year-old right-hander injured for 26 days. Then Ron Locke, as you know, uh, is going to be injured for 12 days. Uh, we'll have to bring a lefty up. He's been good for us, but he has. if you look at his log, um, yeah, he's got a, well, his year is over three in the last 20 ball games. 1-0 with the save. He's, he's been good. Can't complain. And then Hoyt Wilhelm, Hall of Famer, has retired from the Angels. He doesn't want to lose anymore. Um, 34 games, 0-6, 441 ERA, two saves, five blueies, and that is a career. Knuckleball throwing grandfather. <laughs> Let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Oh, my gosh. Pilots lose 7-6 to six for 7-7 seven and seven this month. Uh, wow. Uh, Pinella had drove in a couple runs with that home run. P uh, Hegan, he tried, man. He tried to get that second double. He was thrown out by Reggie Jackson, of all people. Um, he is our player of the game. Merritt Renew, that error in the first inning, that was the difference, really. Riddleberger tried to get him through uh, that inning with unscathed. Got the first two outs. And then all hell broke lo open, you know. It was just ridiculous. Diego Segui walked too. Um, I think we just hit that that part of the season where uh, we all the players that were doing well, they have to suck now. And all the players that were doing poorly are starting to hit, like Freddie Patek getting hit. Um, you know, like I, things like that happening. Uh, Catfish Hunter gets the win. He's 11-6. and six. Paul Lindblad. Gets his second save of the year. Uh, they did hit three home runs. Like They do deserve to win that ballgame. Uh, so good job by them. Okay, uh, that's going to do it. We're going to come back tomorrow with game three of the three-game series. Until then, everyone, have a great night.